Guess he has coronavirus. I can't taste, I can't smell, I can't breathe, I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. Someone please send help. Well, see to be fair, my isolation is over on Wednesday tomorrow. So I've literally been isolating since last Sunday. Well, I've been isolating since last March, let's be honest. But um, I got the big V. I mean the big C. <laughs> Got the vid. You got the vid? Fuck, man. I got the vid. You got the vid? Shit. Praying for you. I'm not gonna lie. It is not the best time. Like, do you know what it is as well? I wouldn't mind it if it was just like a wee normal cold, like, um, you know, like you get a wee bit sick, a wee health cold. Bit. I've got that as well. See the test? What a hateful, hateful thing to do to someone is make them lose their test. See, to be fair, I don't really care about the smell. Well, I could literally smell like a wet dog right now and I wouldn't even know because I can't smell anything, but I'm joking, I got a shower. Tist, imagine, what a hateful thing to do to someone, make them lose their tist, so. So anyway, since I've been in lockdown, well, since I've been isolating, it got me thinking back to the days where we could do stuff and we could actually go to different countries. Imagine going to a different country. What a luxury, like literally, what a fucking luxury. Oh my God, stop it. So it got me thinking about the times where I could go to different countries and different countries that I've been to, different stories. And to be fair, I feel like I do have a few mad stories. Not mad, just kind of stories, you know what I mean? I was feeling sorry for myself, not gonna lie. I was lying in bed last week, had a breakdown. I went to my uni shooter and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, like my uni work, which I literally should be doing, but I had a breakdown and then I was feeling sorry for myself and I was just thinking about times when life was good. I was thinking about times when life was good. It got me thinking. I got me thinking back to holidays. Holidays that I've been on, city breaks, you name it. On Snapchat memories, Instagram memories, going back in the camera roll, and it made me a bit sad, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, this would be quite a good, well, I don't know if it would be good, like, but good story time was the time that we went to Paris. So, that's what I'm gonna tell you. And while I'm doing that, I'm obviously gonna be doing my makeup because I just don't wanna sit here and stare at you, to be honest. I don't want you to stare at me, stare at each other, do you know what I mean? So, anyway, can't taste water either, so I don't even know why I'm drinking it, but, Oh. So anyway, I've already done my eyebrows off camera because, well, I want to do and I took too long to do them. I know you're probably thinking you did, but um, stop it. Stop looking at them. Anyway, I'm just going to do a wee story time here, reminiscing back to the good days. I've been to Paris a good few times now, I'm not going to lie. I literally love Paris. What a spot. If you've been there, you've been there, do you know what I mean? And if you've not been to Paris, you literally need to wise up and go to Paris. Maybe not now, like obviously whenever we can. This is for this is a bit dark. Oh well, fuck it. So let's rewind it back. Two years ago, was it? It was one of my friends' birthdays and she wanted to go to Paris. So we were like, fuck it, let's go to Paris. So we booked in like December, maybe January, like whenever we got our student loans and stuff. Life was good. Paris was booked. We were going to Paris, do you know what I mean? We booked it for March because that's when our birthday was. Now, let me just make a disclaimer here. Back in them days, like two years ago, I was absolutely terrible with money. When I had money, it literally burnt a hole in my pocket. Like, I could not save money. I was so, so bad. I know, right? So, obviously, like, I got my student loan. Um, I don't think I was working at the time, but I had my student loan there, like, keep me going anyway. Me being me, I obviously didn't forget that I was going to Paris, but I was, you know, like, going out. Obviously, these are the times that we could go out, like, student nights. I was probably buying clothes. I was probably just getting takeaways. You know what I mean? I really wasn't, what do you call it? Juggling, like, managing my money well. I looked at my bank one day and I was like, how the Am I going to Paris? I literally don't have any money. It was the end of March, so I feel like I looked at my bank and I literally had two hundred pound to do me until I got my next loan, which was like four weeks away. I had two hundred pound to do me for a month, more or less at uni. This means like I had my rent and all paid, so I had to pay like electric, which was like forty pound. I had to pay um, groceries, all that. So I had, I like, I had a love on this money right for a month. I cancelled. I remember I was like, I don't think I can go. Like I really can't afford it and they were like right that's okay blah 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 but the flights were like 30 pound i think they were proper proper cheap i had the flights, so i had already paid for the flights at this stage right literally got to the day before they were going let's say they were going on a monday so sunday and i was lying in my bed being like sophie you could literally be in paris this time tomorrow and it wouldn't cost you a thing because the flights were paid i might have like 200 pound but if i go to paris and spend that 200 pound i'll have no money to live on I went to Paris. I decided to use the 200 pound to go to Paris and not like keep it in like love, basically. It was a journey, let me tell you. I got a, had a bus pass, so I didn't have to pay for the bus to the airport. I would be on the type, type of mind frame that would be like, you can do it, so if you can actually go to Paris with 200 pound, like it's not that big a deal. I think we were going for like four days, which is literally what, like 50 pound a day. So went to Paris, that was grand. Literally had the time of my life. I, I think I'm, no, I don't, I'm lying. I didn't make the 200 pound straight to me. I think I had to get my mommy or else my brother to transfer my money. Fuck it. When I was thinking about it, to be fair, 
I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what, more pros than cons. Do you know what I mean? There's more pros than going to Paris than not going to Paris. So anyway, first night we went to an Irish bar. Rookie mistake. Much money did Sophie spend? I don't even remember, but all I know is I thought I was skimped when I was going to Paris and we went to that Irish bar and then I was really skimped. We're lucky though because obviously I had been before and I had like I don't think everyone wanted to do like touristy stuff, do you know what I mean? Like no one really wanted to do the whole like up the Eiffel Tower and like bus trips and all do you know what I mean? We were just there to kinda of drink and have a good time. Whenever I woke up that next morning after the Irish bar, I was like Sophie how are you going to survive watch like i barely ate as you do do you know what i mean these are the sacrifices that you have to make do you know what i mean so i don't really care it was kind of like a pringles and like fanta kind of diet that i was on kind of the way you be on holiday For like one night we went to what's it called arc lark arc lark lark the one under the sean's lazy anyway it's, it's pure famous best night ever and then one of the other nights then we went on a boat party right not a boat party it was not a boat party the venue was a boat it didn't move or anything, that's where it was, it was like a rave. I think this was like towards the end of the like the trip and I, I had saved, I'll not saved me money, but I literally had, I think I had about 70 pounds. This was the last night and I was like, I'm doing really well here. Like for someone that came here with 100 or 200 pounds, I'm 70 pounds the last night, happy days, I'm just gonna blow it now, you know what I mean? Obviously pre-drank before, I got absolutely monkey. The drinks in Paris, let, let me just tell you now, they're not cheap. It's kind of like any, any other European city that you would go to, like it's not really cheap. I got monkeyed an hour before we even left. I got in there, the queue's mad for the bar, like so, so long. So I was literally waiting, I don't even remember, I was waiting ages. Basically, I got my drink, let's say it was like 12 euro for maybe like a double or a single. Maybe it was a single, well it was a small, it was like a half pint glass and I, I remember standing for ages and no one ever like you're waiting, you're like drunk and then you have to wait pure long with the bar and then you actually feel yourself sobering up, you're like, this is actually happening. I actually did sober up a wee bit, a wee bit, not, not a lot. I got my drink or whatever, that was grand. And then I went and like sat at the back because the rest of them were still getting served. And I went to do something. I think I must have like went to put my phone in my bag. I think, or I must have done something on my phone and sat my drink beside. This man started talking to, I think it might have been more now, I don't actually remember. But he started talking to Lord. And then he, del you didn't, he says he didn't see my drink, but he saw my drink. He saw it. Anyway, he sat down. I don't know why, but why would he want to spill someone's drink? Maybe I was on the wrong, I don't know. And I mean, he saw my drink, he saw my drink, and I thought he was going to lift it. And I was like, you know, kind of joking, like, that's my drink or whatever. He literally sat down and, like, deliberately spilt my drink. And I was like, are you fucking dead? So I literally, oh my God, I saw red. I was, like, literally scrapping with this random man. I don't even know who he was. Like, and I, I'm Paris, like, I literally, I don't know where I got the balls. Obviously, it was alcohol or whatever, but I don't know, like, why did I pick a fight with an actual random stranger. He literally could have been like a kidnapper from Taken and literally kidnapped me and made me like a prostitute or whatever. But I don't know why, I don't know what I, say if it was the this day and age, I couldn't, I, if someone spilled my drink, I'd be like, oh my God, sorry. Like I would say I'm apologizing to them. And I mean, he was really, really laying under me and I was like, Argh! and all the lemons were like, so if you stop it and all that, I was like, no, I was so raging or whatever. So after that then, I kind of got over the drink thing. I was like, right, no, I'm just gonna have to give, go get another drink, but I had to queue at the bar again. So I was pure annoyed. So Paris is literally, really 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 bad for pickpockets do you think barcelona is bad if you've ever been to barcelona and like you know about pickpockets paris is literally a million times worse because they know it's all tourist right but at this boot party like say if i was well if i was a pickpocketer right this is kind of i don't know for pickpocketers experience from what i think not that i'm a pickpocket like what well, i'm trying to put myself in their situation if i was going to pickpocket someone why would you do it in a rave like you're at a rave to you enjoy yourself do you know what i mean like you're not there to steal people's stuff. Well, many people are, I don't know. Some people are just wired differently, aren't they? So this boy, right, I, there was a lot of creepy people on that boat, right? I had like a side bag and I must have been like recording or something like on my phone and I put my phone in my bag and zipped it up. But I seen two boys looking at me zipping up my bag when I was like zipping it up. And I am like, see whenever I'm, I'm like a, spell out, whenever I'm drunk, I could literally, I, I'm literally a different person. I would literally tack on any man, dog or woman that comes my way. But when I'm sober, I would just like, if I think someone's going to pickpocket me, I would obviously stare at them, no creep them out of it. And then whenever they were staring at me, I was like, why are they staring at me? Using, I, we like walked away and then two of them came up trying to stick their hand in my bag. I was like, I literally stuck their hands in my bag. They obviously thought that I had zipped it open, but I zipped it closed. 
and I'd be so paranoid about stuff like that. Like I make sure that all my stuff, I, I have it at all times. I'd literally turn around and it was like, obviously it was pure, it was a rave, so you literally couldn't hear anything. I was like, ah, 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 pure shouting, was <laughs> literally giving them hell. I was like, ah, and they literally just like looked at me and was like, she's a mad woman, don't be going near her. And it was literally about six o'clock in the morning. And after that happened, it literally ruined my mood. Like I was just like, that, like I just want to go home. I think like everybody else was feeling like the same. Um, so we were like, right, go home. Um, so we left the boat and I think we were like walking, I don't even know where we were walking, I think we were getting a verse on. And Paris, there's like, well, and any kind of European city, there's like loads of wee like Vespas, wee bikes, um, you know, like wee, wee scooters and all. Actually a big row, a big street full of like scooters and like motorbikes and all. Lucy decides that she's going to climb on a motorbike and get a picture. So obviously us being monkeyed at the time, we just thought this was hilarious. We were like, oh my God, she's on the motorbike, take a picture though. She tried to get off the motorbike and she sprained her ankle. Well, we all thought it was broke. She literally couldn't walk. Lucy was like, oh my God, it's so, so well, actually, I think she was laughing actually. Me being me being the annoying one, everyone was like, oh my God, Lucy, like we'll go home now, you know, it's all right, like it's all right. Well, I was in a pure bad mood after nearly getting pickpocketed. And when Lucy nearly broke her ankle, I just was like, no, I don't want to go home. <laughs> If I was sober, I would have been, I would have took Lucy home, do you know what I mean? Like, no, I was like, I want to stay out, no, it's our last night, blah, blah, blah. That actually sounds pure bad, but what happened is whenever Lucy sprained her ankle, we literally just thought it was the funniest thing ever, like all of us. And then I think we just got really hyper and then we were like, fuck it, will we just stay out? Like we were just being really annoying. But that's why we wanted to stay out, cause, cause just because we got really hyper. Three of them went home and then the adults three, I think we were just like walking. We were just being annoying and walking and we will come back later, like blah, blah, blah. Six o'clock in the morning, like what we were going to do? I think we were going to go for food, right? And us being stupid, we obviously thought that we were, we could work the metro, what do you call it? Like a tram, what do you call it? Like an underground subway metro thing we got on the subway and three of us didn't have a clue where we were going we were like no it's definitely up here like we have to go to this one this one if you get off one and then get on one to get where we were staying using let's say our where we were staying was here and let's say the rave was here we ended up here so how we done it hopefully i do have some videos or like snapchat memories or something just literally like six or seven in the morning and we just literally had the time of our lives and we're like fuck it who cares well it's our last night and we came home and i literally had no money to do me for the rest of the month but you know what Okay, had a good time. So I uh, that's literally the power story. Just thought I would share that with you because it really the whole isolation lockdown thing really got me thinking about all the fun times. And also actually I forgot to mention that literally a month before Notre Dame burnt down and we were just there loving life, taking pictures and little did we know it's gonna get burnt down. Rest in peace, Notre Dame, obviously. Oh my god, also completely forgot to mention all this here. So, see whenever I'm sad, I watch these videos, I'm not gonna lie. There's a video of Lucy. <laughs> Lucy on the scooters. She's on the scooters now. This is like the Louvre art by gallery, like where the Mona Lisa and all is. This is the outside. So there was people taking pictures. They try to get like their finger at like the top of the point and all. And it's like all couples, everybody. There's all nice music and all. <laughs> Lucy just comes. Lucy just flies by on her wee scooter. I'm like recording the Louvre and all people just at night. I can't like a wee sunset and all. Sky was all orange and Lucy just got vroom, vroom. It's literally the funniest thing ever. Hopefully we can go on city breaks again soon but i that's the video that's actually all i wanted to tell you i just wanted to tell you to be part story hope he's enjoyed it hope he's got a wee laugh on you but uh, thanks for watching everyone let me know if you like story times because i feel like i do have a lot of st funny story times that i could tell you maybe if you want yeah. thanks for watching everyone i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye we look like an angel, stay out of heaven, girl.